Robert Lowry's effect on Georgia has been compared to quiet ripples on a still pond. Subtle, but far-reaching. For over 30 years, Dr. Lowry has quietly gone about teaching, supporting, and counseling the state's future cattle producers and industry leaders, creating a ripple effect on the citizens of Georgia. Growing up on a livestock farm in Floyd County, Lowry was an active 4-H'er who gave presentations on swine, beef, poultry, and row crops. He received the State 4-H Meat Animal Award, and through hard work and dedication, he earned the title of Master 4-H'er. The memories I have are, are many, uh, of course, over the uh, past uh, uh, my lifetime, but uh, some of the memories are 4-H. Uh, uh, growing up in the uh, late 40s and early 50s, 4-H uh, uh, camps, 4-H uh, activities, uh, the opportunity to meet new people uh, really broadened my horizon and gave me an idea of what was available uh, career opportunity uh, just outside my small home area. With funds earned from his 4-H involvement and scholarships, Lowry attended the University of Georgia, where he continued to be active in 4-H. He was also involved in many other college organizations, including the Block and Bridal Club, Livestock Judging Team, Ag Hill Council, Blue Key, Alpha Zeta, and Phi Kappa Phi. He served as an officer in many clubs and was president of Agon. An excellent student, Larry was selected outstanding junior in the College of Agriculture and received the Ralston Purina Fellowship for graduate work. His interest in animals carried over into his college studies and Larry earned bachelor's and master's degrees in animal science from UGA. After graduating, he left Georgia and traveled north to Cornell University where he earned a PhD in animal nutrition in 1961. Lowry returned to the South to accept his first research position with the University of Tennessee's Atomic Energy Agricultural Research Laboratory in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. But 1964 was the year he truly returned home to Georgia and to the College of Agriculture, where he accepted a research position with the Animal Science Department at the Coastal Plain Experiment Station in Tifton, Georgia. To fulfill his desire to teach and work with students, Lowry requested a transfer to Athens in 1970. His desire led to true teaching talent, which was grounded in his genuine concern for students. The most enjoyable aspect uh, of uh, working in agriculture, in particular in the uh, College of Agriculture, has been my opportunity to uh, work with other people in many different areas. In the research area at Tifton, when I was there with Dr. Glenn Burton, uh, later on uh, in the research at uh, Athens, and more recently, uh, my greatest interest has been working with students in a college and uh, through uh, contacts with many thousands of students. Uh, I hope I've had an influence on some of their lives and uh, that has been a real uh, boost in my life as well. He was named Outstanding Faculty Member of the Year in Animal and Dairy Science many times, received the D.W. Brooks Award for Excellence in Teaching, the Josiah Meggs Teaching Award, the Golden Key Honor Society Outstanding Teacher Award, the National Teaching Award from the American Society of Animal Science and the CAES Alumni Association's Outstanding Teacher Award. Today, more than 50 of his former students work for the Cooperative Extension Service, and many are vocational agriculture teachers and successful producers and leaders in agriculture. When Lowry retired in 1999, an endowed scholarship was established in his name. Over $37,000 has been contributed to the scholarship fund, a true indication of the high esteem in which his students, colleagues, friends, and family hold him. Being inducted into the Hall of Fame is, is a great honor to, uh, to me. Uh, I, I never dreamed that uh, 51 years ago when uh, I drove from uh, Florida County to Athens uh, to start the university as a freshman, that I'd spend 40 years in the college Five, year, five years as a student, uh, obtaining a BS and MS, and then 35 years as a faculty member. The College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences proudly inducts Robert Lowry into the Georgia Agriculture Hall of Fame.